welcome to electro experiment it's an initiative of electrical department christ college of engineering irnyalaguda this presentation discuss some objective type questions and solutions from the topic transfer function in control system subject these are the some prerequisites for the discussion for a linear time invariant systems the transfer function it is defined as the ratio of laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input under zero initial conditions now this transfer function can be expressed in three ways as given below its polynomial form pole zero form and time constant form so these are the three forms normally we are using in transfer function now for a standard closed loop system as shown in block diagram we have to just recollect some expressions of closed loop transfer function open loop transfer function characteristic equation then the feedback transfer function feed forward transfer function etc now directly moving to the questions first question we have to find the laplace transform of f of t equal to e raised to 2t sin phi t in the u of t now to get this answer of this problem we need to apply a property of laplace transform that is e raised to at x of t we can say laplace transform pair is x of s minus a by applying this we are able to find the laplace transform of the given question and you will get the answer as option a now coming to the next question that is we have a, a casual sorry we have a causal lta system characterized by differential equation dy by dt plus 1 by 6 y of t equal to 3x of t the response of the system to input x of t equal to 3 e raised to minus t by 3 u of t where u of t denotes the unit step function that is we need to find the response of the system now since we have the differential equation we are able to find the transfer function of the system that is by simply taking laplace transform on both sides with zero initial conditions we can obtain the transfer function as y of s by x of s equal to 3 divided by s plus 1 by 6 now to get the response y of t we need to find y of s and we can get the y of s as x of s into 3 by s plus 1 by 6 and by replacing x of s it is x of t is given hence x of s become 3 by s plus 1 by 3 into 3 by s plus 1 by 6 that will be y of s now to get the y of t we need to take the inverse laplace transform then we will get the option d as the answer now coming to the next question a second order system has the following properties this is the damping ratio zeta equal to 0.5 and undamped natural frequency omega n equal to 10 rad per second the another tip is the uh, steady state value of the output to a unit step input it is 1.02 we need to find the transfer function of the system now since it is a second order system the standard expression for uh, the closed loop transfer function of second order system is given by c of s by r of s equal to k omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square now by substituting the values of zeta and omega n we will get it as k into 100 by s square plus 10 s plus 100 now we have another uh, hint given steady state out value of output is it is as 1.02 now 
we can find the expression of c of s as c of s equal to r of s into this thing okay r of s is nothing but 1 by s now the steady state value of output which which means c of t at time t is equal to infinity it can be find by using the expression limit s tends to 0 s into c of s now by replacing the expression of s into c of s in the limits we can obtain value of k as k equal to 1.02 thereby we will get the answer as option b now coming to the next question for a causal LTA system characterized by a following differential equation where uh, x of t and y of t as the input and output respectively we need to find the impulse response of the system now for a, any system the impulse response we can calculate by taking the inverse Laplace transform of the transfer function of the system so from the given differential equation we are able to find the transfer function by taking Laplace transform with the zero initial conditions and by rearranging we will get the transfer function of the system as 5s plus 4 divided by s square plus 7s plus 10 now by taking the inverse Laplace transform we will get the answer as option B now coming to the next question that is we need to find the transfer function of a system and uh, whose state space model is given we can find the transfer function from the state space model by applying this expression that is c s a minus a inverse b plus d so we need to identify the matrices a b c d from the given state space model now by uh, we know by from the question it is very clear that matrix a is this one matrix b and matrix c matrix d is 0 now by substituting here we will get the answer as option d now coming to the next one that is we have a system with the signal flow graph is given and we need to find the transfer function y of s by u1 of s now from the signal flow graph it is very clear that there are two inputs u1 and u2 but when we are finding the transfer function of a system we need one output and one input and if there if there are uh, multiple inputs are available there we need to set other inputs as zero and we need to consider only one input at a time now from the given Mason's gain form uh, for the given signal flow graph by applying the Mason's gain formula that is t equal to 1 by delta sigma pk delta k we are able to find the required transfer function now from the uh, given signal flow graph it is very clear that having only one forward path and we can find the pa forward path gain as p1 equal to k1 divided by j l s square and delta 1 equal to 1 and we, we will get we have we have two loops are there with the loop gains l1 equal to minus r by l s and l2 equal to minus k1 k2 by j l s square and we can find the the determinant of the graph as delta equal to 1 minus of l1 plus l2 now by substituting we will get the answer as option a now do this exercise that is we have a question a function y of t such that y of 0 equal to 1 and y of 1 equal to 3 e raised to minus 1 now we need to find the solution of differential equation as given again by the application of Laplace transform with uh, applying the zero initial conditions we will able to find the expression for y of t then by substituting for t equal to 2 we will get the answer as option b now consider a continuous time system with the input x of t and output y of t is given now it is uh, directly y of t equal to x of t into cos t now it is an example for linear time varying system now the next one the solution of a differential equation again it is by applying the Laplace transform we will get it as option A 
as the answer. Now for a system we having the transfer function g of s equal to minus s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 with the unit step input is applied at time t is equal to 0 find the value of response of system at t equal to 1.5 seconds again by the application of inverse Laplace transform we will get the answer and by applying t equal to 1.5 seconds the answer becomes between 0 0.55 to 0.556 now the next one that is it is in connection with the final value theorem by applying the final value theorem uh, for the given x of s we will get the answer as 0 now the last question it is in connection with a mechanical system we have the differential equation is given we need to find the transfer function g of s x of s by f of s then by applying the, the mathematical modeling of uh, mechanical systems and by, by applying the constants we will get the the required transfer function as option a thank you thank you for listening